Two and a half months after the first yellow zone came to western New York, those restrictions are gone today, here and almost everywhere across the state. Good evening, I'm Mary Alice Demler. And hello everyone, I'm Scott Levin. The governor says the progress in fighting off the holiday surge means it is time to get to business going once again. Now, these are the things that were impacted by yellow and orange zones, restrictions on gatherings, worship services, business dining, and schools. Those rules are gone, but that means this does not end the 10 p.m. closing time for restaurants or the statewide mask mandates and travel restrictions. Two on your side's Dave McKinley has more tonight on what the news means for us. The announcement came after restaurants in Erie County successfully won a court injunction, allowing them to reopen for indoor dining despite being in an orange zone, which limited bars and restaurants only to outdoor seating. Cuomo didn't say if the state's court defeat in any way drove his decision, which he attributed more to the state having emerged from what it feared would be a post-holiday surge in cases and improving numbers for percents positive. But the numbers, while improving, aren't really that much different than when the restrictions were put into place. And when you combine that with the governor's stated fears about new strains of the virus and vaccines being in short supply, a New York Times reporter asked him how he could then reconcile lifting the restrictions now. I don't know that we're ever going to see that positivity number go down until the vaccines really start to kick in. And you're talking about livelihoods in the economy and billions of dollars, plus uh, people's businesses and life work at stake. That statement is likely to rankle his critics who'd been arguing that very point for a very long time. But the governor insists in an ongoing battle, COVID should be seen as a moving target, or as he put it. The facts may change. They may not change, but they may change. And while he doesn't see any sudden improvement in the number of vaccines being available, at least in the near future, he did announce today that more money is coming from the federal government to help New York State in its vaccine rollout when those doses do arrive. Dave McKinley, Channel 2 News.